This makeup is inspired by the color red, which I never really appreciated that much before, so today we're gonna give it some love. As usual, start off with a clean face, go on and apply a light primer all over the face, and then go straight into foundation. I'm using a very light one since it's daytime, but because I have quite a lot of redness, I'm covering anything I need with a concealer as well, especially around my eyes, nose and mouth. When I'm happy with the canvas, I set it all up with my go-to powder, and then I'm moving on to contour. I try to keep a light hand on this, and I place it on forehead, nose, cheeks and jawline. I wanted to apply a golden highlight, and the perfect shade was actually from a pigment that I had, so I took that and I applied it not only on my cheekbones, but I extended it all the way down to my cheeks, brow bone, and cupid's bow. For cheeks, I picked a very pinky blush and I focused it on the center instead of blending it upwards because I wanted to achieve that dolly kind of look. And then I started working on my eyebrows. I brushed them through upwards and I used a clay pot this time to fill them in lightly and I kept them kind of messy as I usually prefer. But now it's time for the eyes. I use my favorite palette at the moment and I pick a mix of three different shades. A golden pink one for the base and I placed it kind of all over the eyelid. Then the orange one for the center and then a brown one to kind of smoke everything out. I blended it nicely and then with a smaller brush I applied some of that golden pigment from before to just the inner corners of my eyes to really make them pop. I then went on and using the same brush I applied the first shade that we used from the palette and I put it on the bottom lashes and kind of winged it out a bit. It was then time to add some black eyeliner and I made it quite elongated but I only brought it halfway through my eyelids instead of the whole thing and something I've been doing lately is to add a little wing at the bottom as well, which I think it looks very nice and a little bit different. The next step is to curl your lashes, add some mascara to top and bottom, and then the very last thing left to do is to apply some red lipstick, which is the star of this tutorial. And then your face is complete! For hair, I simply took some side sections and I used these bobby pins with flowers on the bottom to secure in place the buns and to make them I just twisted the small section of hair, I wrapped it up on itself and then I just put the bobby pin in and that's super simple, you're done! But now let's take a look at the lookbook. So these are the three looks I put together for you, I hope you enjoyed the makeup tutorial and that's it for today, I will see you next week, bye!